Hi, it's Martin and Arlo, and it's day 40, I think we just counted, it's like day 42 of isolation up here in Vermont, and we're still baking like crazy. Um, there are a lot of people who are having trouble still accessing flour and also yeast, and so today we are going to do flourless fudge cookies. Flourless fudge cookies. Uh, very few ingredients, no flour, no yeast required, kind of breaking out of my bread mold a little bit. So, uh, let's jump right in. We've got a cookie. So this is the cookie. We mixed it, how long ago did I mix this? I must have mixed this like 45 minutes ago or so. Maybe even longer than that. It's okay if it sits for a little while. So, this dough um, I mixed and then we portion and then we just let it sit until it kind of has this, can you get in there on that anthem? It kind of has this, it develops a little bit of a shell. And sheen. like a sheen to it, it's shiny, but it also is like dry to the touch. Um, and that's what, when it bakes, it's gonna expand and it's gonna have that like nice cracking like look to it. So, let's go ahead and get these in. Seven minutes or eight? Let's do, these are kind of like, some of them, let's do eight. Let's do eight and we'll kind of check them. So if you want to set that, that would be awesome. Okay. This is going to be like the shortest video I've done. I say that, but I don't think there's any way we can mess that up. It's going to be short. So again, this is the flourless fudge cookie. Um, this, is a this is a cookie that we made for a long time or a very similar version. Uh, we made it for a long time in the bakery. When I think of this cookie, I think of Francois Payard, the really well-known French pastry chef who, um, I think he's still working in New York. Um, anyway, I think of him as sort of like the first place where I saw this cookie. Um, so come on in here, Anthem, and let's do the mix. Okay, so in the bowl, I have confectioner's sugar. I have cocoa powder. I have salt. I have espresso powder. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Um, now, we've done some testing here today, and we happen to have a few different kinds of cocoa, and I was sort of going through trying to see which one I like the best. Um, and I think I'm going with either the natural or the Benstorp, the Dutch process. Um, both of those are really good. The black is good too, but even at only 50%, so it's like 85 grams of cocoa powder. And even when I used like, you know, 42 or 43 grams of the black, they are super intense. Um, too intense for me. Like even a small cookie, I was like, oh, I can't even eat the whole thing. Um, we also tested a version with walnuts in it that was really good. I toasted the walnuts and put it in there. Um, but I'm liking the natural cocoa for right now for myself. Okay. So, the mix on these is really, really straightforward. Um, you just add the dry ingredients together and make sure they're homogenous. You could do this uh, in a stand mixer too. Like I've said before, I've tried to keep things, um, I've tried not to be fancy with the tools uh, that I use um, because I assume that some people, not everybody has a stand mixer. Um, we have a stand mixer, but it's kind of on its last legs a little bit. Arlo and I had to replace the gear in it this year, and it's like when it runs now, it still runs, but it doesn't sound great, so I don't use it too much. This is um, egg white, three egg whites, 105 grams, so like three egg whites and then two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm using this vanilla that I like. Um, use your favorite vanilla, whatever that is. I like this vanilla because it has some beans, some seeds in it too. I really like that. Uh, I mentioned espresso powder. King Arthur has espresso powder. I'm sure that uh, you, know, you can find it other places too. Um, so egg whites, what else was I gonna say? The other thing I was gonna say was that if you're feeling like you're low on eggs, um, I think I used all but maybe a couple of all the eggs we had today. You brought in how many yesterday from the chickens? Like a dozen or something, Anthem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got like a dozen. And I think in testing today, I went through all of them. And toward the end of testing, I started saying, man, I'm using a lot of egg whites. Um, and I try to batch 
with whole eggs because I thought, nah, let's just try it. What if I use 105 grams of whole eggs? And it seemed to work pretty well. Um, I'd want to do some more testing before I recommend that, but if you're getting down there a little bit, uh, I think that that might be an option uh, that's worth considering. Okay. So, egg whites in. And one thing that I will say about this recipe is that when I do it by hand, it does take a little while to get the um, to get this mixture homogenous, which is what we want. Um, the egg whites and the sugar and the cocoa are like, they don't want to really come together uh, or they take a little time, I guess is what I would say. So you just keep working at it. If you have a stand mixer and you want to use the paddle attachment, um, or if you have um, the little hand beater, the electric beater, um, that could work too. But um, I haven't had any problems making this by hand with the uh, with just a spatula. It seems to be fine. Okay. So what I want to do is, Arlo, do you want to get the um, black cookie scoop and come around here and we'll get you involved? You mixed one of these batches today too. Yes, Just, I did. Yeah, no big deal, right? It took no. a little bit to get it together, but yeah. no big deal. This one looks smoother, not as... Yeah, it's coming together pretty well, right? It looks like lighter or not. Did I have you mix the one with walnuts in it? Mm, or a plain yeah, one? Yeah, you had me mix one with the black cocoa. It's okay. A lot different. Looking. Yeah, it looked a little bit different, but the texture I think is pretty close. Yeah. Okay. So... You see how smooth this is? You see that anthem? It's a runny, uh, it's a runny batter. The one that I did wasn't. Wasn't runny. quite as runny? Okay. No, definitely All right. not. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to do eight. Can you do eight of these or at least get them started? How about, Okay. then I might have you check the, Cookies, okay. And it's not a full scoop that we're using. So. Yeah, that looks good. So if you're gonna do eight, like distribute them. Look here for a second before you eight. go over there. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that make sense? Yeah. So spread them out because they're gonna spread some as they go. Eight. That's good, go for it. So like right here? Yeah. So I just flip it upside down. And flip it and give the thumb a yeah, you don't even have to hold it next to there. It'll sort of pop out. Okay, that did not really work. <laughs> Let me show you one. I should have shown you one first. Sorry. It's going to be fine. That's going to be totally fine. Watch this. So I have the scoop. Not quite full. Not quite full. I'll take a little bit out. And then if you just come where you want to go, and you don't even have to touch the sheet, it'll just fall out like that. Oh. Let me do two more, and then I'll have you okay. finish. Okay. Did I say two more? Okay, I lied. Now you go. That was quite the two? Yeah. So you go ahead and go with that. And you can make these bigger if you want. Um, I think on the instructions it says tablespoon. And I think these are a little bit bigger than a tablespoon. There you go. Depressed. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now come away. And go. And then go do another one. Okay. So where are, so I do the next one right here? In the middle? Yeah, right. middle. Oh, good job. Yeah, good job. And then another one on the side, right? Sure, why not? See how those are sort of getting crackly? Looks good. I think they need another minute, maybe. Maybe two. I'm going to say two. So one right here? Yeah. That's good. Well, let me trade you. Get the next one. So should I just put as many as I can on there? Because there's yeah. not much Yeah, so let's do this. Sorry? You're okay. 
going to gather this batter together so that you can access it, or I can access it. Let me do a couple here okay, real quickly. Yeah. One. down to it there. Let's do this. It's a very sticky, sticky dough. Um, it's more like but a that's, batter. Yeah, it's more like a batter. You're right, you're right. It's a batter. It's definitely a batter. Um, what else to say about this? I think that's about it. Looks like I'm going to have a small one here. And I'll just put it right here in the middle. Now, that's it. That's the cookie. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to let these sit and dry for about half an hour or so. Um, we put those in at seven minutes. Is that what we gave them? Uh, we started with eight. And started with eight, and I just added two, so it's going to be ten total. These are a little bit bigger than what um, maybe are normal. Um, See how these are. Yeah, they're good. These are good. I'm just looking to see how soft they are. You know, if you like a fudgy cookie, and people tend to really like fudgy cookies, uh, they are going to continue to bake for a little bit. So pull them a little bit early. Set those out. Arlo, I'll give that to you. Set this here. Okay, wanna try a cookie? Yeah, sure. Can you eat any more of these? We've already eaten how many of these today? Too many. Too many. They're pretty intense. I mean, not that many, but. Super fudgy. Super, super fudgy. We get on ice cream. Yeah, you definitely need some milk or something like that with them. <laughs> totally. Okay, so um, this is the flourless fudge cookie. Thanks for joining us. Cheers from our house to you. And thanks for helping out and thanks Anthem. Yeah. Enjoy the cookies. Yes. Mmm. That's intense. I mean, it's like a brownie with like a thin coating of crunch. I think a half is like it, and I'm gonna need like four glasses of milk. <laughs> Cheers. Yes.